Okay, let's solve a surface tension question for the FE exam studying purposes. Here is a method of measuring the surface tension. So what we have is we can measure the surface tension by looking at the force required to pull a wire-shaped ring from the fluid surface. Okay, Because if you think about it, it's going to cling to the surface. Once you pull it and pull it and pull it, it will just pop right out. Right? If the diameter of the ring is 6 cm, that's given to me, and the force that I need to pull is 0.1 newtons, find me the surface tension of the particular fluid that I'm dealing with. Okay, And obviously the gravity and the weight of the wire ring will may play in the role, but they are typically much smaller than the surface tension force, so you can safely neglect that. And these are the A, B, C, D choices that is given to you that you need to pick. Okay. Um, this is a fairly straightforward concept for the FE exam purposes because there is only one formula and I'm going to write it over here. Surface tension is equal to force divided by L. Okay, so this is being asked. Force is given to me as 0.1 newtons, right? So the name of the game over here is finding the L though. Okay, what is the L? If you do this as, you know, 6 centimeter, that's not quite right. If you do this as 2 pi r, that's not quite right as well, unfortunately. Okay. And if you use 2 pi r, that's one of the choices, which is not the right selection. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is actually, I explained this in my lecture videos in more detail, but in here I'm just going to give you a flavor of it. So what we have is I have something like this, and I have a ring in a three-dimensional shape, and this is the surface of the fluid that I have. So if I pull this up, so I'm pulling this up, what will happen over here? Let's look at the free body diagram of this. This is the force that is given to me. Okay. And if I look at this shape up here, okay, I drew this and I'm back. It was a difficult drawing. Anyways, so what is going on in, over here is look at this uh, right over here. There are actually like two meniscus that I obtain. Okay. One of them will be 2 pi r. So this length will be 2 pi r. But remember, I have two of them, okay? Let's look at the 2 pi r for this entire, like, inside of it. But also there is another one for the outside of it, 2 pi r. So unfortunately, this will be 4 pi r. So then this means that this will be 4 times pi times r, okay? And r is 3 centimeters, so 10 to the minus 2, okay? And if I go ahead and punch this into my calculator, I will get myself 0 0.26 newton per meter. And that will be choice is uh, B in this particular case. Thank you for watching this video.